the place we're on here at Long Renong is Long Renong Rotation 1, LR1, which is a farming systems rotation that's been going since 1916. Hundred years um, of uh, crop production uh, set up before there were even statistics applied. So the the research hasn't been replicated. The research plots aren't replicated, but in reality they've got a hundred years of replication. The first plot has been sown to wheat every year since 1916. The next two plots are fallow wheat rotation, alternating, and then further down we've got. Uh, crops rotations with, that include oats and field peas. We see from that that the good rotations are actually with, for example, with uh, field peas, uh, wheat and oats, that that's, that rotation has maintained its wheat yield and its productivity over that hundred years. Um, so sustainability of farming is, if you do the right things, then farming is sustainable and uh, productivity is sustainable we still need to push the system to its water limited uh, potential but I think uh, with good management we can do that and not compromise sustainability. I think the idea that production and, uh, and environment are mutually exclusive is not correct. We, we can have both and in fact farmers do manage uh, to do both in a very successful way. What we see with an example, for example, plot one, which has been wheat on wheat every year for that hundred years, is we find that it's built up with diseases, soil-borne diseases. Um, take all, for example, and, and cereal cyst uh, nematode. What would you do about that? Well, you wouldn't grow wheat on wheat on wheat for a hundred years. You'd grow it in rotation. So you might grow it in rotation with a with a field pea crop, which breaks those diseases, or you might grow it in rotation with a with some other crop that provides you with a disease break. Now, most commonly, that's a canola. And interestingly enough, canola or rapeseed was in this rotation uh, in an earlier uh, set of phases that have since been terminated, but uh, it tells us that farming is sustainable if you manage it. If you don't try and keep doing the same thing every year, you look for diversity, uh, you look for crop diversity, you look for management diversity, and uh, that's part of the nimbleness um, with which uh, farming uh, needs to uh, strive for in the future.